Good morning everyone. So we're here on another amazing day in Trinidad and Tobago and it's been about one year since I started doing these vlogs. So me and my boy Jono said we we're going to revisit one of our favorite places. We head into Three Pools River today. One of my favorite places in Trinidad. I did a video on it a good while back, one of my first YouTube videos. And we're going to check it out again, have some fun and relive it. So I hope you're going to enjoy that. But first, we're at Marion Beach right now, Marion River Bay. Check out this place, how it's looking. Yo, no! Yo, it's glassy, it's so glassy. We should have brought the boards for sure. Tell them about this Trini weather. It's beautiful right now. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. We get some real, you know, on the Trini Surfer channel, me and Jono tend to get real lucky with the weather, I find so, whenever we go in places. And today is no exception. Blue, blue skies, almost no clouds. Glassy, beautiful ocean. Look at it again. My boy looking happy. Mesmerized though. Mesmerizing, <laughs> best weather. Should I bring the boards for you? So guys, while we are sad that we didn't bring our surfboards and surf today, by the way, the ocean is seeing me back wrong. It's really good for surfing. So as surfers, it's hurting our hearts right now. But three pools will be great nonetheless. So let's go and check it out. Jono, take us out. Let's go. Hi right, guys, so we're leaving Marion Beach. We'll show you the short drive to where we're going and then where we'll park and that kind of stuff. Jono, what kind of um, footwear are you choosing today, boy? Only the best kind now. Alright, so Jono has wore his Nike hiking slippers. Pretty sure they're fake too. You're pretty sure they're fake? <laughs> uh, do you expect them to work very well today? Um, I guess we'll see. This is for all the brethren they tell to come on a hike and then they pull up in their slippers. Mm -hmm. This is for you all, you all know yourselves. Are they called slippers because they're slippery? Possibly. I guess we'll find out. Right? You can pick up Jono's slippers from the Nike store in China. <laughs> Let's go now. Alright guys, we're by the old bridge. Alan is setting up his equipment over there. I'm just taking a walk in the meantime. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We're blessed on this channel. We get the best weather. Alright guys, so as you saw in our last video that we did here, you pull up to this cul-de-sac next to the bridges and this is your parking area. So some people choose to park right here as you can see behind me. Um, Alan is a little bit further down in the bush. Um, they don't have much parking space in the bush though so, and if you're going in the bush you should be rocking a 4x4. 
All right, so there is a quick river access on the bridge. Let me show you guys that. <laughs> so please be careful when you're coming on the bridge, look out. Don't just walk without looking at all because you will go through. So we're heading in now and John will show you all the parking and stuff too. This is the main entrance here. Of course, we'll be guiding you as we go along the way. Just a side note as well about the parking around this general area, much like many other places in Trinidad, rivers, waterfalls, etc. Um, you're parking at your own risk, right? 90% of the time it's safe, but every now and again, a stupid man will come and bust your glass or take something from your car. I don't have the answers to get away from that. Just know when you come to certain places, there's no guarantee that things will be left alone. But hopefully, it's a good day. Let me go. Stupid guy is this boy. Bash! <laughs> so when you reach about one minute into this hike, you immediately come with a fork as well as a sign. So when you see Jono standing there, that goes nowhere. We want to go up the hill and continue on to the actual hike itself. And let's take a look at the sign. Welcome. Enjoy the beautiful surroundings. Please be careful. John, you can add anything to that? Was that good? Huh? <laughs> it's all Nothing similar. to add. Nothing to add? Nothing to add. You don't even want people to not litter. Oh. Uh, yeah. I thought that was obvious by now. No, it's not obvious. Well, don't litter. I turned away the camera from Jono, but he said, don't litter. We have a real littering problem in Trinidad. Seriously. Please stop littering. Stop littering, Jono. I don't litter. You litter. You litter more. Never. Come, lead, go. Don't get us lost. So you come to the part here after a very short uphill and it's now starting to head down. Three pools is one of the easier hikes they have, but you still need to be careful wherever you're going. And there are markers on the trees like this to kind of show you that you are on the right path. So always keep an eye out, but the trail is pretty clear cut and you just keep following it. So there seems to have been a very small landslide. Few trees fell along, but very easy to navigate still. Pretty sign of water. So this is very common with any kind of trail a lot of time after a little bit of rain and stuff but watch out for the thick mud you could definitely bust your tail walking in this mud here so just take your time be careful better shoes better boots unlike Jono with his slippers but we good to go let me see Jono where you found it boy? Coco a cocoa? Is it a parent cocoa or a... What are you saying, bro? It's a baby cocoa. Mm. <laughs> Everyone, this is a baby cocoa pod. You can see it's green, small and too young to be eaten. So we leave it alone. Even though Jono wants to pick it one time himself. I never said that though. And this is a cocoa tree. 
Serious? A cocoa tree with cocoa? Cocoa tree with cocoa. Wow. Amazing feat of nature. Go for it. All right, guys. So we have two logs falling here. Just take your time. Step over. They have um, pretty dense mud. So don't let your foot stick. And right, step over again. Excellent easy, execution easy. by Jono. <laughs> A master survivor in the wilderness. <laughs> This is for all the fallen soldiers. Yeah, boy. What is miss that? You? What kind of fruit is that? Breadfruit. Oat. Plant a breadfruit tree if you have land. Yeah. <laughs> the majestic bamboo patches of Blanche Shares. So guys, along the way here, of course, a big part of this attraction is you walk alongside the river quite a lot. It's truly beautiful today with all the sunlight. The trail is pretty much the same as we remember with one or two little landslips. But look at our water clarity and how green and clear it is. A big fallen tree here. It really is amazingly beautiful. Three Pools is one of the easier hikes to come to and one with really high payoff. It's truly refreshing and beautiful on a sunny day like this as well. Amazing. I can't wait to get in those springs up there. Fall now, that's gonna get real good. <laughs> yeah, I was real hoping you fall. <laughs> Hi guys, so we finally come off the trail. It took us about 10 to 15 minutes to get to this point. Uh, this is one of the only river crossings you'll be doing. So we just came off from behind here, which John can show you there. And we're going straight across. And actually, well, this seems to be a landslip, a landslip over there. Normally you'll go up right there. Actually, I think you can still go around the trees. So we're gonna go around those trees and up and then back that way. So we continue now, but taking the beautiful nature around you. John, wash your face. So tell me what to do, boy. Watch your face, boy. The path is still very, very clear once you come around these trees here. And here's the little step and you just cross on this land and you continue going. Alright guys, first big reveal. We now come into the first pool. Sun is shining. Alan's in front. Let's check it out. A view from Alan's phone. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this is the first real proper stop as Jono said. A lot of people stop here. The good thing about here is that there's no additional climbing or anything required, as well as it's shallow and deep. So people who are not such good swimmers can stay in the shallow part. And if you want a more of an adventure, you can swim out into the deeper part. But we're gonna go all the way up, of course. Jono, by means, proceed. Crystal clear water. Oh, I love the Guys, this water is so beautiful and clear. You see any green behind me there, but look at the rocks. It basically looks like they have no water. Jono, why are we so lucky? We're just blessed. We're, We're just blessed. blessed. We always get such good weather. Note to self, everybody out there, Trinidad does not always look like this. No anywhere always looks like this. On rainy days, on flooding days, the water turns brown, the ocean can get brown. So don't look at my video and big ways, boy. I went this place and it wasn't as beautiful as the day he went. It's a luckily draw. Your best bet is always gunning for very good sunny weather if you want beautiful conditions. But it's always beautiful. Enjoy, be safe. We're going along with Jono there now. So we definitely have some friends up in the further part of the falls. 
Very I'm bravely leaving this stuff a little down, although it's normally safe and it's not too much further. But still, I like to take my bag with me. Jono likes to take his waterproof bag with him. Are we doing skipping stones, Jono? Yeah. I mashed up dumpling real bad the other day, you know. I'm not dumpling. You're not dumpling? No. You sure? Well, there we go. Alan versus Jono skipping stones competition. Alright, guys, so I'm going up against my arch nemesis, Jono. This is for all the times he lost me on trails and did strippiness and ruined our vlogs. Lies, lies. He's a big liar. Lies. Anyway, everybody gets one stone, one chance each. John Rose selected his stone. I'm going to find my stone now. I'm not even going to try hard because I don't need, you know, help to beat John o. I choose this weird odd shaped stone. You see, it's not perfectly flat. I right, John o, watch where we shoot in. Go through. Towards there. You go first. You go first. It's you go first. first. Alright, you hold the thing then. The thing? Hold that thing. Hi right, guys, you all be the judge. You know I'm the master at it. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. John was real garbage, you know? He's trying to re revenge for dumpling now, but you can't come up against the king. Alright, so you're getting the water any shot? I think I'll use this side. Nobody cares. The oblong stone. Woo! Two hit skips. The, it was three skips, but it hit the other Two side. Skip. It hit the other side, that's 19 skips when you touch the wall on the other side, okay? Go ahead. Man, do two skips, eh? You don't, you don't know anything about Before skipping, it. dog. Ah, John, two skips. literally same thing. <laughs> so it's a tie. I felt to not like make Jono's um, morale drop too much on the hike. So I allow people to compete with me sometimes. Great All job, Jono. Thumbs up. <laughs> so we are the main pool of three pools here. But now there's the decision to go up a little further to a deeper, nicer pool. And you have two choices when you come here. For non-swimmers, one of the choices is not going to be possible. You see the waterfall behind me here? You can actually swim and climb up that. You will have to be submerged. It's not somewhere where you could touch the bottom and walk. If you cannot swim or you do not want to get wet, do not go this way. Instead, the alternative route, which is a little more difficult, is up and over these rocks here. It's not a very difficult climb. However, it does require you to walk on some steep faces using a rope to balance yourself. I've seen people who are very much not fit and not super strong accomplish this although it does look a little intimidating but it is your alternative for a dry route so john and i are gonna walk it and show you now so i'm taking off the shades guys because i start to look like those men in nightclubs at midnight and the dark clubs wearing shades anyway because they think it's looking good and Jono is abandoning his slippers wow nike is not going to be happy with that brother man they're not going to be happy with you. Tell them, send me a new one. Tell Nike, please sell Jono a slippers that he could use for hiking. Alright, enough of that stupid talk, let's go on the trail. So this is the dry path. Jono and I are going to show you how to navigate this path because the wet path is pretty straightforward. It's either you want to get wet and you can swim or you don't. This path requires a little more guidance. So come along with us. You'll see, first of all, there's a lot of fallen trees and, and, and bamboo and stuff here. Unfortunately, a lot of litter as well. There's chubby bottles, styrofoam. Please, Trinidad, we're gonna ram this home. Every vlog, every video I make, anything Jono makes in the future, we gotta keep this place clean. It is a real, real problem in Trinidad. If you know you litter or you see people littering, let me stamp that out real quick and see if we can solve that problem. So right, after my rant, we're moving on. We'll be crossing here, going up those rocks, and there's a cable that you shimmy your way around the rock using. We're gonna make it work and show you. Let's go, Jono. Right, so this is the first part here. You use the rope to come up and you come around. Hi guys, from here it is a bit of an awkward angle. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. But you're coming on the outside of this rope, not on the inside. And you're holding it as you go along. And you just really take your time. It's not super slippery, but take your time or else you can roll off into the water. You don't want that. So we're going slowly. Hey guys, so this is the last part, the most difficult part, but it's doable, you can do it. You come around this sharp corner, the corner will continue around the tree and a much sharper cliff face, but you just take your time, place your footing very well, and you'll get across in no time. It takes all of about 15 to 30 seconds. So John is gonna follow me now. There's a tree down here where you can plant your foot. Use that for support. Great 
job everyone, you made it around the corner of death. Now, we're going down here, you just sit down on your bottom, shimmy down, and all of this area here for the most part, you can stand up and may get as deep as about navel to chest high, but you can stand and then you walk to the little beach, and then you're pretty much almost there, but there's one more part you need to walk over a hill again. Catch! Great job, John. Great job. Thanks, man. All right, guys. So we just come down a rock. Now I'm going to show you one more time to the last stretch to the biggest pool. You can stop here and here and swim, or you go one more time over this here, and you come down into this big main pool over here. And that's where we're going because to me that's the most beautiful part. But let me keep it real, John. Everywhere in this hike is intensely beautiful. Yeah, it is. You don't have to come Greenery everywhere. How do you rate this hiking difficulty for everybody, for the average person? Um, maybe a five because of the climb around. Five, yeah, I think yeah. five is good as well. So yeah, we just came from over here, and we're going over here. And they have some people there, so let me see if they wanna be out of the video or in the video. So guys, this is about how deep it is. You see, in Jono going through there, and then you come up onto the little beach. Easy as pie, but just be careful. What do you do? <laughs> Mommy, you can hide here. Yes, I want to hide here. Guys, hi, I'm making a YouTube video. My name is Alan Charles, or the Trini Surfer on, on YouTube and Instagram. I see you all left your stuff down there. You're going back to get now. Okay. Yes. You can say hi to yourself. Say hi. What hi. was your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. Mariah. Mariah. Raisha. Raisha? Is Raisha. that right? Raisha. Raisha. And what were you, my way? Dale. Dale and, and partner who hiding here? Nisha. Nisha. Well, thank you. Very nice to meet you all. Same here. Be safe. Same to you. Bye. Well, guys, we finally arrived to the third pool. The most beautiful pool, in my opinion. It is the deepest though, so be very careful if you are a non-swimmer. But just as beautiful as it always is when I come up, boy. I really love this spot to come and clear my head and get a little meditation in my mind. You can see Jono done start. Jono, you happy? Huh? Are you happy? Very happy. Goodbye. Look at all the green water. There's a strong current today. So do be careful sometimes when you come here. There's a little power in the water. It could pull you down the, the stream and stuff. So just be wary, but it's not too dangerous unless it's a heavy rain or something like that. So yeah, let's check it out guys. Enjoy. So guys, the water is so strong here right now. Jono is a very, very strong swimmer and he can't even get up here because the flow is so strong. This is not the common thing here, but just something to be careful of when you do come.
So normally John and I would jump off up here but there's so much power in the water today that we can't even really get up. Now I'm gonna try with Donald to document it. But I don't think we're making it. There's too much water moving. Dog, these are like the pools they have our way. Yeah. That are just like shooting water out. Mirtha pools, big up. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I don't think I could go any further. Let's see. Guys, I really want to show y'all the strength of the water moving right now. It's not a good day for non swimmers or people who could barely swim. So I'm gonna swim all the way up, let it take me, and show you how much it's really pushing. By the way, I consider myself a swimmer. Alright, I'll let it take me. We're moving. Oh, boom. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Jono. Oh, my God. This thing is powerful, right? It is real powerful. Ah! <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> oh, my God. That thing drag us real far there. It's no joke. It's no joke today. I saw at least 20 fish get sucked over. Alan across there trying to thing. He nearly drowned to be honest. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this reunion trip to Three Pools, one of the first videos we did. I can let you know two things. There's still some trash because we know that's a big problem in Trinidad. But on a better note, it's just as beautiful as it always is every time we come. This place is truly gorgeous. And John and I had a fantastic time just cooling off swimming here. I highly recommend it for people probably ages five, six and up can handle this. You know, once your children are with you and you can kind of manage them. How do you feel? Yeah, for Good? sure. Yeah. I hope everybody's enjoying the Trinity Surfer channel. Me, Jono, Stephanie, Dumplin, and a few other people who have made appearances. Kaze, my guide, he will be making some future appearances. Thank you very much for all these subscribers and all the follows we've gotten. And look out for everything. There's a whole big chunk of Trinidad that is left to be explored. We have literally only scratched the tip of the iceberg. So this will hopefully be going on for many years to come. Yes, sir. Yes, plenty sir. Plenty spots. Plenty, plenty spots. spots. Plenty, plenty, plenty. So I had to get my tail in shape. Me and Jonah right now on a mission to fix up. But big love to you guys. Big things to come in the future. Thank you very much for all the fan support. Have a great week. Peace out. Get out and explore. Come and watch the my eye. Ah!